Hi, welcome to another Max 7 tutorial. This is number 31, Presentation Mode. Now, it could be that we've actually talked about Presentation Mode before, but one of the things that's nice to do with a patcher is to get it to come up and running the way it's supposed to. So, um, I'm just going to check and make sure, whoops, I already have um, my patcher up and running, but here, I mean, here it is. We were working on it last time, and oh, what fun it was. Um, so let's just put it away and see what happens when we open it. File, open recent patcher, number 30 tutorial. And there it is. It comes up, and that's fine. It's okay. But we have to, you know, we have to put it in presentation mode, and to get it to look like anything we want it to look like now that's starting to look pretty good, but, uh, um, you know, uh, I don't want to see uh, the toolbar. That's better. But um, then when I put it away and I open it again, I'm right back where I was. So let's take care of this little annoying problem, shall we? Um, what we really want to do is to open the inspector on this and have it inspect the entire patch. So if you have nothing at all selected over here, you can come up here and push patcher, and this says show patcher inspector. It's very important that you know that it's the entire patcher that you're editing, so just make sure you do know that. Another thing um, that not everybody knows is you can actually close this side window and just hit Command I, and it will open again um, right here. And if you have a really big patcher window going on, I'm not 100% sure of this, but let me just try it out. If you do this and you're working in the whole thing and you ask for a patcher window, oh no, I know you can get a separate patcher window. There's some way to do it. Window. Eh, whatever. Okay, we'll figure that out later. But to get back to what I was talking about, Okay, let's slide this back over here and concentrate on this. So there's this little diamond up at the top called Show Patcher Inspector, and we click on that, and you see this green thing happening up here, right? That green thing is a good sign that you're working in the right mode because it suddenly is like, okay, this is the patcher inspector. This is the inspector for the entire patcher, right? Um, we've previously inspected only objects. So what do we want to change here when this thing opens? Well, I, for one, want the whole thing to open in presentation. So I'm going to zoom down here, scroll, 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 scroll down here to view and uh, find the open in presentation mode. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> I know it's down here. Maybe it's not all the way down here. This kind of thing could drive you crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Editing. No. Snapshot. Font. No. Snapshot. No. View. Open in presentation. Sorry, it was all the way down at the bottom under view. Sorry I made you wait so long for that. Here it is, open in presentation, and you just click that, and it will, I promise, open in presentation mode. Another thing that you have down here under view is enable scroll, which will show the horizontal scroll bar. No. Show the toolbar? No. Show the vertical scroll bar? No. We don't want to show anything but the app when this thing opens up. You could always turn those back on later. Okay? And then um, one other thing, just to make sure that we see the patcher the way we want it, is I wanted to change this background to something dark so that when it opens you don't have this white surrounding area. So I'm just going to open up the colors for this and find the um, locked background color. Locked background color. That's the color of the entire patcher when it's locked. 
So let's just change that to this lovely color of ultramarine. And we see the, the back of the patcher immediately goes to ultramarine. Very nice. Okay, so we're mostly done what we need to do in the inspector. There's still one other thing. Well, let's save this. Push save. And then just close the whole darn thing. Bonk, gone. Okay, now let's go reopen it and see what it looks like. Ta-da! It opens locked. It opens with that background in it. And um, it's ready to go. I'm going to just... Look at that. Humorously, it opens in MIDI mode, even though this says electronic. So there's something that we could work on. Uh, I can't hear it if it's in electronic because the sound isn't turned on. These are things you could deal with with a load bang to turn that on automatically. There, okay, there's our... Uh, I have the volume down kind of low, so... Great. And sampler. Probably it wouldn't work unless we did that and turn the loop on. Okay, so everything working and our rhythm device is working, but it doesn't have anything to play yet, so we'll have to hit number one. Nice. And turn up the beat to 153. I'm getting off track here. Um, so this thing, this thing is now opening up very nicely, but it's not quite the right shape. So let's uh, go down here, size this up, just the way we want it, just that little edge around there. And just for fun, let's imagine that we always want it to open over here on the other side of the screen. Okay, then we come up to View and say Define Fixed Initial Window Location click, and save the whole thing, put it away, let's open it, see what happens. Open Recent Patcher, bam, look at that, right where you wanted to see it. So that's how to do it to get this thing in presentation mode. This is what it should look like. Isn't that sweet looking? Oops, I stuck it over here. I want it, and, and uh, if you want to know where it's supposed to go, you can... Initial window location. There's where it is. Maybe I don't want it there. Maybe I'll put it over here. Define initial, fixed initial window location. And then no matter, every time it opens, it will be right there. Right there is where it's going to be. Save it. Close it. Reopen it. And it's there. That's the way you do it. That's about it for presentation mode today. A nice, short, 8 minute and 35 second video. I'm proud of myself. And I'm proud of you guys for patching so well. Thank you, and come back for more soon.